<clears throat> right, so it's Thursday the 5th of May. And sorry I haven't made any videos for a while. I um, went from Blissworth to Gayton. Stayed at Gayton for, um, <clears throat> you know, a fair while, <laughs> shall we say. And uh, now we're on our way, well, we're at Bugbrook at the minute. Uh, just at the village, there's a little bridge that leads up to the, um, there's a path that leads from this little bridge here up to uh, a little uh, shop and the, uh, the little village, there's nothing much in the village, pet shop, uh, somewhere to get some milk and stuff. My plans have changed a lot, uh, it sort of threw a spanner in the works for a little while. <laughs> Uh, I was always going to come out at Yelvertoft, I don't know, I, was, I must have mentioned it in other videos. That was a plan right from the word go, the entire year was that, that was the plan, that's why I've been heading up this way. So I went into Yelvertoft to book Merlin in, I mean the people couldn't have been any nicer, really nice people, lovely marina, gorgeous. But as soon as I mentioned that... <laughs> oh, that flattened you. Um, as soon as I mentioned it was a Springer hull, they said we can't get them on our um, trailers because they trailer them out. They don't crane them. But anyway, it won't fit on their trailer. So, unfortunately, that left me in the lurch a bit. Uh, but I've done a bit more research online and further up that arm of the Grand Union, because I think it's the Leicester Arm, or whatever it's called, um, uh, and North Kilworth Wolf, North Kilworth Wolf, that is where we are going. Merlin is booked in, I've paid for a month up in advance, haven't got an exact date because they haven't got a crane there, and it does, uh, they will pull it out on a trolley, but then it has to go on a crane within the yard. Well, I can't avoid it. Uh, so, I've paid for it. Um, it's either the end of this month or start of June. It just depends. There's a few boats going back in and obviously I don't fancy paying 1,200 quid out for the crane <laughs> on my own. So, I don't think anyone else does. So, hopefully there'll be like two or three boats wanting to um, come, a couple coming back in right, and me coming out. Uh, hopefully three or four, because then we split the split the bill. So I haven't got a definite date, but that is a real progress, real progress. And I've had some other ideas for the future, because I haven't really got a set plan to be honest. <laughs> Where I'm going to go, <laughs> I might even leave it up to you lot. You can have a vote on it. Where do you want to see? Yeah. I'm easy going. So I, I don't want people to think I'm insane. There's quite a few people walk their dogs along here. Just in this field down here. Anyway, there's nothing here, so I, I need to move. I've managed to run out of water, so I had to stop and go to the shop to get some of that. So I have a coffee this morning. But I'm going to. I was going to stop at Bugborough. I've got friends, a couple of friends there, but I think I might just keep going. I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to get back to the van, but uh, I've got my scooter thing here, electric scooter, and, and a bike. The scooter's good for about 12 miles, so uh, I can go 15, 16 miles because I can walk some of it on that. And it's easier than pedalling a bike, but the towpath is as rough as hell between uh, down here. One of the worst I've seen, to be honest. Uh, anyway, I'll video a bit of the journey now. So the next bit is going to be some travel footage. I'm not sure exactly where we're going to end up. Uh. I'll show you best actually, because I was hanging about as well because I was getting the cover fixed. So I shall show you best. Hang on.
Yeah, mate. Yeah, not bad. I oh, know. <laughs> Slow without it. <laughs> This is Bugbrook, the marina anyway. Now this boat is really nice, look at that, a lot of little workshop at the front. That is gorgeous. Shout out to Mr. Lark if you're watching this. I'll see you in there eating your dinner. <laughs> I'll try and get through this bridge now without smacking into it. So if you want to look up where I am, this is Bridge 36 on the Grand Union. I quite like sitting on the roof, <laughs> quite comfortable. I've got no set plan where we're going to end up. We'll stop for dinner in a little while, we'll put another battery in this camera.
and spin you round. Boat for one there. I'm so glad I found that North K uh, Kilworth wolf though, God. When they said I couldn't take Merlin out, my heart really sank. What with that and losing the cat? There you go, life goes on. So there'll be lots of videos coming up. I'll try and put one out every day if possible. I can't guarantee it though, it just depends on the internet. Uh, and they're gonna, I'm going to have to travel every day now. So, be mainly travel videos and then when I get to the marina, obviously there'll be videos on uh, sorting Merlin out. And we're going for another bridge now, I'll turn you around. Bridge 35. It's a nice little bow, wooden one I think. It's coming up, behind this other one. Well, yeah, I like all boats, but it's kind of an unusual one. I like that.
Hayford Fields. It's a nice place. Very nice. Bridge 34. Stopping for lunch really soon because the battery light is going on and off so it's going to cut out any minute. So I'm going to pull up here on the right hand side I think soon. A bit further down, let's have a look. Two boats down here on the right, I think past them I do. Right, so I've had something to eat. Now it's time to move on a bit. Uh, I think we'll go to Weedon. There's a one-stop shop there. So 
I'm going to get a few bits and pieces and some water because I've run out of water. I can't even have a cup of tea. Anyway, let's get this thing untied and carry on going. Definitely the way to travel.
the ground. We're right out in the countryside now. Have a little bridge coming up. I can hear these electric cables singing. I don't know if you can pick that up on, on the sound. Well, in case you can't see, there's some electric cables above our head, but I can actually hear them. Not one or more up here. Not that you can. him in the background. I'm really looking forward to getting Merlin out, seeing what state the hull is, and getting, you know, doing and getting the work done on it. It'll be interesting.
looks a bit crowded up there. Another marina. Try and get some nice, a nice pick of the boats. Slow, slow down a bit.
cemetery's not that much further on. I really need to stop at one stop. <laughs> boat up my backside now. Pull in. Day. I'm actually enjoying travelling. Believe it or not, I usually just enjoy getting there and exploring, but I'm actually enjoying the travelling bit now. I don't know if he understood that. <laughs>
necesita es... Another one, three. Wrong day to come out. I haven't got much choice. I do hope no more boats come round here. It's rather narrow, this bit.
Right then, so we made it to Weedon. Uh, my camera battery ran out about 10 minutes beforehand. But we got here, we're moored outside the cemetery. So it should be an interesting night. Uh, and I'm just about to put this video together. So this is finishing it off. Anyway, it's going to be a lot of uh, traveling videos. Hopefully I'll put another one up tomorrow to show you where I've got to if you want to follow the progress. So, catch you in the next video.